and Pop of Tech. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Google's CS First coding program. Now, CS First is a computer science program where students can learn to code even at home. Yes, at home. This program is set up to be very simple and self-paced where students have tutorials on how to create code and then they are able to try that code out on their own. There are different activities and different themes that allow students to learn to code and eventually, maybe, hopefully, get a job in computer science. Let's go ahead and take a look. So Google for Education has created this great resource for parents that contains lots of hyperlinks and directions on how to get children to the CS First homepage. I'll put a link to this in the description box down low. If you scroll through the resource, we have several steps, get ready, get set, and code. And then we have several activities, code your hero, create your own Google logo, dialogue, game design. There are a lot of options for children to choose from. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to click on code your hero. Here we have the code your hero page. There's an introductory section, two activities, and they estimate that it will take about one to two hours. Now students do have the option to create an account so that they can save their work, but they don't have to in order to complete the activity. Below, we have three other sections, activities, examples, and materials. Underneath activities, we see the overview and some examples. Below, you'll find more details about the actual coding activity. The first section contains the instructions for coding your hero in English. And underneath that, you will find instructions on how to code your hero in Spanish. To begin, I'm going to click on number one, introduction from hero to superhero. This is your learning page. On this page, you will find videos about how to actually complete the coding. Here's our video. Let's go ahead and preview it. Welcome. I'm Kamar, a computer scientist and program manager at Google. I'm originally from the Virgin Islands, and now I teach students all around the world how to program. I'm excited to share this activity about... Students will be able to watch this video and then do watch and then do, which makes this a great self-paced coding program. At the end of the video, they will instruct me to click on the starter project link on the right side. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. As you can see, we've arrived at Scratch. This is the program that Google CS First uses to teach students how to code. In the previous video tutorial, students will learn how to use all of the controls in Scratch. They will know which colors to click on and which blocks to drag and drop so that their superhero moves just like they want it to. As students are viewing the tutorials and actually practicing, I recommend that they have two windows open, one for viewing the tutorials and one for practicing. Remember, if they go back, their work is not saved because they have not created an account. In order to figure out what we need to do next, we will need to look back at the previous window in order to see what our options are. After completing each step, students will have the option to add on more and more to their hero. They will be able to move their hero, fly over buildings, add background music, show off with the super spin, and much more. Once they've completed all of the features that they would like for their hero to have, they can click Next. Here you will see different instructions on how to actually share your project. But remember, you do need to be signed in in order to share your project. Well guys, that's it. It's just that simple. Google CS First is one of the best programs that I have been able to introduce to students. Being able to learn how to code plus see how it applies to real life really opens their eyes. For them, being able to control cartoon characters and other mechanisms on their own computer screen is something very special. If you want me to do a more detailed video, make sure to comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips with a pop of tech. See you soon!